Welcome to the Sandy Lake Dam, a 125-year-old water control structure built by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers on Big Sandy Lake in McGregor, Minnesota. Today we're going to be talking about the Sandy Lake Dam Rehabilitation Project, a project that is going to ensure the safety and functionality of the dam today and into the future. My name is Tammy Frounchu, lead park ranger here at the site, and I will be joined for this video today by Sam Smith, project manager for the Sandy Lake Dam Rehab. In November 2019, the Corps of Engineers held a public meeting with the Big Sandy Lake Association and interested members of the community to talk about the Sandy Lake Dam Rehab. This video is a follow-up to that meeting to provide you again with what the key components and goals are of the Sandy Lake Dam Rehab, as well as provide you with a status check on where we're at with things. It's important to remember that this rehab is not a reconstruction. The dam isn't getting torn out or replaced, but it does need some essential repairs made, similar to what you would have to do on your home. Sometimes you have to repaint. Wear and tear happens, and that's exactly what this is. It's fixing that wear and tear that's occurred over years and years. Over the next 10 minutes or so, Sam and myself will be discussing the key components, goals, and a status check on where we're at with the Sandy Lake Dam rehab effort. This video is being released in conjunction with the ongoing public comment period for the draft environmental assessment developed for the Sandy Lake Dam rehabilitation. The draft environmental assessment describing the rehabilitation project and the environmental effects in detail is available to the public and can be viewed at the website shown on your screen. If you have any comments on the environmental assessment, they should be provided on or before May 18th. Questions on the project or comments on the draft environmental assessment should be directed to Eric Hansen at 651-290-5386 or at eric.r.hansen at usace.army.mil. Please address all written correspondence to the mailing address shown on your screen. Now, Tammy and I will provide answers to the following questions. Why do we need a rehabilitation? What does the rehab design include? And when and how do we plan to do it? In order to understand some of the components of the Sandy Lake Dam rehabilitation effort, it's helpful to know just a brief history of the dam and how it was originally constructed. In the late 1800s, the Corps of Engineers put six dams in the Mississippi Headwaters region. These dams were designed to provide water supply to the Minneapolis-St. Paul area during the traditionally dry summer months. In 1895, the Sandy Lake Dam was installed. However, it was originally built out of timber. It was plentiful around the region at the time instead of concrete. However, a timber dam proves to be a little bit of a maintenance headache. And so by 1908, the structure was failing and had to be replaced with concrete. This conversion to a concrete structure lasted until 1912. And since that point in time, the structure has undergone modifications and routine inspections. As you can see, the Sandy Lake Dam remains in operation today and forms Big Sandy Lake Reservoir. The dam, however, is no longer operated for the primary purpose of navigation, but rather is now operated for flood control, recreation, and environmental stewardship. A series of inspections occurred from 2011 to 2016, both above and below water. These inspections identified several areas that were in critical need of either repair or replacement to ensure the functionality of the dam in the future. These items included an upstream apron and cutoff wall, replacement of the lock cutoff wall, replacement of the six slide gates, which were still operable, but were nearing the end of their service life, and the installation of a newer technology in the log sluice bay. Instead of using big timbers, we're going to be installing a large metal gate in there that's easier to operate and also much safer. The rehabilitation design will consist of multiple different updates to the dam to address the identified deficiencies that Tammy has just mentioned. 
the deteriorating concrete wall located in the lock chamber will be removed and replaced with three bays of steel stop logs sitting on top of a concrete sill. A mechanically operated slide gate will replace the wooden stop logs in the 11 foot wide log sluice. The six existing identical slide gates will each be removed and replaced in kind with new slide gates. Concrete repairs will occur along the upstream face of the dam. Various electrical updates will help to modernize operation and support mechanical operation of the six slide gates and log sluice gate. Fish passage is a common topic at the Sandy Lake Dam. Historically, a fish passage structure did exist on the dam. However, it was the wrong design for Minnesota native species. More information needs to be gathered about the feasibility of installing a fish passage structure on the Sandy Lake Dam. The Corps of Engineers recently entered into a five-year study agreement with the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources to look at fish movement throughout the Big Sandy Lake watershed, including here at the dam. Once this study is complete, it will help to guide decisions in the future about how the dam is operated. It's important to note that the current dam rehab is to ensure the safety and functionality of the dam. These are repairs that are needed right now in the present day. The rehabilitation will take place over the course of the next two to three years. The project is still in the design stage, but work is expected to start in fall of 2020. The majority of the construction activities are expected to take place in the fall and winter months of 2021 and 2022. Construction will occur with a two-phased approach. The primary reason for selecting a two-phased approach is to ensure that there are no impacts to dam operation or water management at any point during construction. The Sandy Lake Dam is currently operated under regulations set forth in the 2003 Mississippi Headwaters Water Control Manual. During the construction period, no modifications or changes to water level management are expected to occur. During phase one of construction, which is construction on the lock chamber, water flows will continue to be directed and managed through the existing sluice gate bays as they are currently. During phase two of construction, which is work on the sluice gates and log sluice bay, Water flows will be directed and managed through the lock chamber by using variable height stop logs in a manner that mimics normal water management through the sluice gates. Phasing the project in this manner will allow outlet flows to be managed as they are currently and in accordance with the approved water control plan. During rehabilitation construction efforts, safety will be a top priority. While we will still be aiming to provide as many high quality recreational experiences as possible for our visitors at the site, some areas may need to be limited or closed during this time to ensure the safety of our contractors, staff, and the visiting public. Please note that any closures will be announced via public news release from the Corps of Engineers, available online at recreation.gov, or you can feel free to call our park offices at 651-290 5850. Again, the public comment period for the draft environmental assessment is currently ongoing and will end on May 18th. To access the draft environmental assessment, please visit the following website. Direct any comments to Eric Hansen at 651-290-5386 or at eric.r.hansen at usace.army.mil. Please address all written correspondence to the address shown on your screen. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers St. Paul District is committed to ensuring continuous safe operation of Sandy Lake Dam while also providing safe recreational opportunities for the general public during rehabilitation construction. We look forward to delivering this critical infrastructure project so that you and your family can continue to enjoy Sandy Lake Dam for years to come. Thank you.